I've seen lots of videos on why you shouldn't study medicine. I've even made a video on things I hate about medical school, which by the way, check that out after you finish watching this video. But I've not seen too many videos focusing on purely why medicine is so amazing and why you should study medicine. That's, that's what this video is about, that why, why, why you should study medicine. Okay, start. Always in demand. You're never not going to need doctors. My dad used to tell my Papa G when he was growing up that no matter where you are, you can be in an isolated jungle. You're always going to need medicine and a doctor. In the UK, the employability for graduate medics is something like 99%, which I think is the highest in the UK. It's something I think I forget to even be grateful about because you know, there are loads of people who study at university for three years. They're in 27,000 pounds in student debt. And due to the current climate, when they graduate, they struggle so much to find a job T to the extent that sometimes they have to do another degree or sometimes they just have to have a total switch of careers. Doctors, on the other hand, once you've graduated, you've got a job offer straight away. The UK especially are crying out for doctors so you will always be in demand. Yeah, th there is competition and limited spaces for like niche specialities, but no matter what, at the end of the day, you'll always have a job. Money! You don't actually make that much uh, as a doctor. I got $73, so how y'all go? Trip on me. Well, you can if you want to. After five or sometimes more years of studying medicine at university, you start on a junior doctor's salary, which is anywhere between you know, 20 to 30-ish K a year. Very nice, I like. If like me, you want to become a GP, then it's only about three to four years of GP training after your foundation years till you become a consultant GP and therefore earn the equivalent to a consultant's pay. Then again, like me, if you're also interested in the business side of things, then as a GP, you can become a partner, which I think basically means you sort of own a bit of the GP and you sort of run it like a business. As a GP partner, your annual salary can look like something like, you know, between 140 to 160 HK, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's very, very, very important though, that your motivation to become a doctor is not fueled by making money. Because that pathway you saw right there was probably the, the quickest and shortest journey to getting that sort of pay. That's about 10 to 11 years. So if you're only in it for the money and you're not actually invested in helping people, then you're in the wrong profession. You're, you're, you're better off doing something else because you know, 10 to 11 years, that, that's a long time. But the point is, is that you know, being able to earn that amount of money is nice, not because of the money itself, but the financial freedom that comes with that amount. Good health is a crown worn by the healthy that only the ill can see. I think that was a quote by a scholar called Imam Shafi, and basically it means to be grateful for your health. As a medical student and a doctor, you see patients who are very ill. Cancer, organ failure, pneumonia, COVID. You learn that people are really suffering and, and these are real people. Like it, it could be the shopkeeper at the corner shop, a school teacher, a lawyer, someone's mother, someone's father, someone's child. From seeing ill patients, you learn that these people have it so much more worse than you and so gain this appreciation for health. And there's so many people who are suffering, like, you know, you see so many elderly people who are biologically fit enough to be discharged, that they're stabilized, but they're not even able to be discharged because none of their family members are able to take them. Maybe because their own family don't have the time or space for them, or, or might be the elderly person might not want to burden their family, or they might not even have any family. And then it's brutal, like they're just stuck in hospital all by themselves. And so as a medical student, seeing these patients, like I just, I can't feel bad for myself anymore. Like I've just, it's really opened my eyes to how, how good I've really got it. Like how, how amazing is my life? Because I've got my good health and all my, all my family, all my loved ones, their good health as well, Alhamdulillah. Being able to have a direct impact on people. There will be a patient surrounded by their family, all anxious and in perpetual worry. They will be met by a nurse who will say the words, don't worry, the doctor is coming. And that doctor is you. As a doctor, you see and meet patients in their vulnerable states. I mean, history taking entails you asking the patient 
about their personal life story, you know, their past medical history, conditions that run in the family, personal battles they've been dealing with, you know, all this personal information that they would never give out to any other stranger. And as a result, you gain the opportunity to help this person. What an honor that is. And seeing the progression of health in your patients after you've helped them is so, so rewarding. And this rewarding feeling leads to a fulfilling life. The science you learn at medical school is genuinely interesting. Now, I know I said in my video, things I hear about medical school, that the science in preclinical years can, can get very, very dry. And I, and I still stand by that. But I think something that contributes to that feeling is having to learn science for the exam. Like when you just let your curiosity take you and you just learn for the enjoyment, that fascination of the human body reignites and it's so hard to extinguish. Because the more you learn about the human body in medicine, the, the more amazed you'll be. There's a quote by Rumi where he says, stop acting so small. You are the universe in ecstatic motion. Like we don't even know or even think about the infinite microscopic chemical processes that are happening inside our body. It, it, it's so amazing. All these chemical reactions happening inside our cells, that the cells are working together, that are making a sort of tissue, and then those tissues working together to make an organ and then a system, and then all working together to make a human body. It, it's just, it's so amazing. And as a medical student, you get the pleasure to learn it for five years. So yeah, those are different reasons why you should study and apply to medicine. Remember to check out my other video, which is things I hate about medical school, so I can undo everything that I've said in this video. <laughs> And yeah, make sure to subscribe for more videos every Sunday. Again, thank you guys so, so much for all the support and love. Really appreciate it. Cool. I'm gonna go away now. You should too. Bye.